Hey YouTubians, it's Tony here from We Trying Thin Channel. It's Trying Thin, so you don't have to. Today, what we're talking about is the another watch from the Casio range, and this one's from the Casio Sports range, which is a the Casio AQW100 with a module number of five zip five zero two eight. Now, with this with this watch, what we're going to do, we're going to talk about what it's made up of and the sizes and stuff like that. We're going to show you some of the functions of this watch and then say pop it on our wrist and say what it's like to wear. So to kick, kick things off, what we've done below, we've actually listed um, where you can get this watch on Amazon. And we've also listed the instructions on the Casio website because obviously this watch is um, it's got a lot more going for it than the usual Casio watch um, that you can get from uh, all manner of retail outlets, etc. really. So just to kick things off, this watch is a Casio AQW100. It is a Casio with a difference in that it's got a bit more going for it than the usual, but I'll talk about that in the bit. Um, with this watch, what you've got is a um, case. It's got a, a kind of a metal case to it, which is like a, a stainless steel affair going on. Um, as you can see, it's got the brush brush effect going on there. Um, and this one has got a case diameter of about 46 millimeters. And the actual height of the case, is, which might be chunky for some people, is 15 millimeters with thickness, or the case thickness is 15 millimeters. Um, it has four plastic pushers, or four, as it were, yeah, they are plastic pushers, which have a slight um, kind of little bit of a squared effect to them, just for, you know, for grip and stuff like that. Um, it has a resin band with a plastic buckle, and the resin band has the little peaks and troughs that you do get on some Casios, which some people may find, like myself, may find a bit uncomfortable, but I'll talk about that later on in the video. So, as I said, it's, you know, it's got a stainless steel back, and this one does have um quartz movement and it also has 200 meters water resistance which is pretty epic for a watch like this now the other thing to mention is obviously as you can see from the off it is an analog digital display now with the analog you do get a um, loom on the hands with the analog part of the actual watch you do get the loom on the hands and the actual um, main hour markers going on here and um, which i'll show you here just in the, the little clip to the right and also what you do get is a interesting it is a backlit electro luminescence to it which is absolutely you know it's dazzling the way it is quite a bright uh, electroluminescence because it's the whole back to the actual dial which I'll show you in the which I am showing you in the video uh, sorry the little clip to the right here and it is it is a real nice kind of touch to this watch um, as I say this watch is a little bit different to the norm and um, because obviously as I say you've got the actual analog digital part and what I love about the actual look about this watch is that um, the background is mainly taken up with a digital display which is quite unusual for some of the analog digital watches I have featured on the channel in that normally the actual uh, digital display is either you know it's it's somewhere to the bottom or to the top you know and it can get easily obscured obscured now the only thing i will say that i have read some of the reviews on this watch um especially on amazon and they do say that sometimes the actual date can get obscured by the actual um hands which i can fully understand because obviously that's it's friday the um april the first or april fool's day as it's known and um you know it can get in the way but again you know you can just manipulate the watch to have a look around it and it's not it's, i don't see it as a real issue really but it is just a minor gripe with this actual design of this uh, dial but what i've got to say is it, I, I think it absolutely adds to the look of the watch i mean especially with this kind of metal metal going around the actual um, main part of the case and you know it's got that real sporty I think sophisticated look about it and I really do like the look of this thing it, it, I think it's absolutely stunning in you know in in comparison to some other watches that are out there now talking about the actual dial what you do see I mean obviously it's got a fair bit of information going on in the background so obviously you've got your your date and you've got your time and obviously it does day daylight savings as well which is great and also you have your little mode indicators there or sorry alarm indicators there because it does feature quite a few alarms which I'll talk about in a minute but at the top as I say there is a difference to this watch and this watch does feature um something that I have talked about with this Casio and I'm going to show it here the W 753 which is here and um, it does feature moon and tide data as I've talked about in this review here which I'll pop a little link to in the bottom of in the description and at the top and um, it does feature as I say 
moon and tide data. Now the moon data, as I've mentioned in the previous video for this, uh, for the watch I've just shown you, um, it shows you when there's going to be a new moon or it shows you the phases of the moon. So the new moon is when obviously um, it's like a moon ages as, as such. So the new moon is when obviously the, the sun is behind the moon. So obviously the moon is, you know, is in the shadow as it were. And as you, as the sun obviously wrote, or as the moon ages over 29 or 28.5 days, um, the actual fact, you start to see the phases of the moon. Now, when it's, as you can see on here, um, yeah, they're both new moons and what it is, is you've got to really set this watch up perfectly or, you know, as accurate as you can to get as accurate a data representation of where the moon is and where the tide is. Now, as a quickly mention, as I'm going to quickly mention there, this is the tide data as well. So um, if you are living near the coast, coast, it might be quite handy if, um, if you're into surfing and stuff like that or astronomy, you know, you know, obviously with a new moon, uh, you don't get the reflection of the sun on the moon uh, because, as I said, it is in darkness. So you might be able to see other celestial items, as it were, or stars in the sky, because obviously the reflection of the light isn't affecting what you're looking at, really. And if you are a surfer, as I've said, uh, you know, you do kind of get an idea when the tide is high, really. I mean, it, as I say, it's only as accurate as the, the information that you put in it. But just to give you an idea of what's going on around you, you know, I think it's a great little touch. And the way that um, Casio implement this within this large dial, I think is, you know, it is fantastic. It is such a, I, I just really love the look of this watch. So just to quickly talk about the one, the one thing I haven't mentioned, sorry, is the actual dial window here. Um, it is, I believe, a, an acrylic um, material, really. So just be aware of that, because I believe it will be prone to scratching and uh, micro abrasions and stuff like that. But, you know, as people say, it depends on how you treat your watches. But I think no matter what you do, sometimes you can pick them up purely by accident, no matter how careful you are. You know, obviously in the summer months, you don't wear like a hoodie or anything just to protect your watch. And, um, you know, sometimes it can, you know, attract, you can accidentally knock your watch without realising. So, you know, just be aware of that. I mean, Polly Watch is your friend on this aspect, you know, to get rid of any, you know, main, you know, any small scratches and stuff like that, which is what I've used on this. So just to quickly go through the functions, what this watch has, um, it has, as I've said, it's got the, on the, the main screen, you can see the tide and moon data, which is reflected in this first function here. So obviously you can cycle through, um, you know, it, within the months, obviously based on if you've set it up correctly with, you know, where you are on the planet in terms of longitude, uh, the date, the time, and other variables that you're gonna go through, which are listed in the instructions below, which I put in the description, uh, just to help you with this, uh, using this watch. Um, so obviously you can just see how through the month, how the moon kind of um, goes through its phases. And obviously that is a full moon is represented there. So obviously it's when the light's bouncing straight off the sun. That's how you can see the full moon. Um, and then obviously as you start going round, you can see the actual phases of the moon back to a what would be a new moon. And obviously if you just tap on this, you can see the tide data. So the tide data, again, as you cycle through the day, uh, it's not date specific. I believe it's more hour specific than day specific, but you can see, you know, you're heading towards a high tide and then you start to go towards low tide and then the tide is rising again as it goes up. And it's just a nice little graphic idea. So you can see, you know, once you've set the watch up correctly, um, you know, if it's worth going out and surfing and stuff like that. So it is a you know great little feature of this watch. The next function is stopwatch and it is pretty simple um, in the way that, I mean, this will me measure an elapsed time up to 23 hours, 59 minutes and 59 seconds. And you can do start, uh, obviously stop, restart it as well. And then you, just, you can have split times and stuff like that. So it is, a, it is quite handy if you want to measure an elapsed time really. The other one is a countdown timer. Again, this will measure it'll count down from a minute all the way up to 24 hours so you can um you know you've got a, a, a very large variable of measuring time as such or you know if you're doing food or anything like that or anything that you need to measure time with in a countdown aspect this will do it and also you can always see your time just up there which is a nice little handy part of the watch but plus don't forget you do have the analog part of the watch to rely on as well which is you know it's superb on this watch um, the next one is the alarms. Now this one has, it's got different alarm types. Now it does have a daily alarm. It has a date alarm. Uh, it has a one month alarm. And sorry, that will sound every day on that month, I believe, at that time that you specify. Uh, it does have a one month alarm. So the alarm will sound every day for the one month. It has a monthly alarm. 
where the alarm will sound at the same time every month and it has an hourly signal which um, which beeps on the hour every hour so there's a lot going for this little watch here uh, well not a little watch I mean it's it's quite a biggish watch I mean if you want to compare it to just the F91W it is quite a you know it is quite a sizable uh, timepiece really and then it has dual time so you can set a time for a different time zone in the world include and you can include daily daylight saving time on this as well so New York the usual uh, reference I give New York five hours behind if you set it up for that um, you can obviously communicate with people in New York at, at a time that's an appropriate to you because you can always work out what time it is over there or if you are traveling to another part of the world you can set the dual time for that time you know use that as your local time and you've always got uh, what would be GMT or your actual home time listed above so you know great little feature and then you've got the um as it were like the mode in which you can adjust the actual out you know the analog hands to this watch and um you know i'm not going to go through it but what you do you just press the adjust button and then you use this button here to just keep your finger on that button to allow the actual minute hand to sweep round. and as the minute hand sweeps around obviously the hours hands will do as well bit of a bummer if it's uh, you're in the uk and the, it's you head towards winter where we go back an hour because you're going to go through all the dial you're going to wait till it goes all the way around the dial to go an hour behind you know unfortunately um you can't go backwards you can only go forwards on this so it's a shame really but you know it's just a, again another gripe really it only happens once twice a year when you go forward and backwards so it's not a big deal really and that's it really i mean obviously this will feature 24 hours and you can you can amend the actual um you know you can mend timekeeping modes and you can mend the timeline as such really um and it's you know you can do uh you can actually do all sorts with it really but as i said what i'm going to do is uh in the instructions below i'm also going to feature a video on this watch where i'm going to talk about how to use this watch and it might be quite a feature length video just due to the fact that there's so much to this watch so you know subscribe to the channel it will be coming up uh, in the next couple of months so what i'm going to do i'm going to pop it on my wrist and say what it's like to wear so here it is on the wrist and it looks really nice i mean i've got to say i really do like the display and the, the actual design of the you know of everything how it kind of works together really as a complete timepiece it's you know you've got the nice elegant um you got the you got the nice elegant analog hands and obviously the markers going around the actual uh, dial of the watch and then you've got the digital aspect which has all the functions going on here and I don't find it too busy really. I find it nice and clear. Obviously, if you want to glean the time straight away, you can do. Or get an indication of the hours uh, or the time using the analog part of the watch, then it's fantastic. My only bugbear is with Casio is that, you know, this will, you know, if you've got it tight enough, you will feel it slightly pinching into your wrist. So, I mean, obviously, it's a. I would imagine it's the way that Casio designed these so they will grip to your wrist but sometimes you do feel it kind of just pinching in it's not so bad on this because I've just loosened it off a very small amount and you know it's nowhere near as comfortable as this but it is comfortable don't get me wrong but just this one you know I wish it had that kind of strap really but personal preference really the only other thing I will mention is that that does tend to stick out really and that's just down to where the retain strap retainer can't go over this because obviously this is where it starts to kind of edge out really and that's just a real bugbear of mine i mean you know people everyone has a different preference to how their watch looks but i just feel that if that was just a little bit lower you know it would add to the aesthetic of the whole thing really plus it probably wouldn't get caught up in your sleeve as much but you know again a minor gripe really to what i would say is a really nice looking watch so overall verdict, I really like it. I love this watch. I mean, again, you know, strap, just, just that. But again, you can always change straps on these sort of watches. You know, get something that maybe is a leather strap that would go with the actual, um, you know, width of the strap going on here. Or, you know, something that would fit better or would work better with this watch. Maybe like a, a black leather strap or, you know, something that might contrast with the rest of it. But I think a black leather strap would work really well on this. But other than that, I mean, with the two, you know, you've got 200 metres water resistance. You know, I'd imagine this watch would be ideal for surfing. Um, you've got the moon data and the tide data. And you've got the analogue digital aspect of the watch with multiple alarms and stuff like that. Countdown times and stuff. <laughs> you know, it's a fantastic watch. And what I would say, if you've got the opportunity to buy it and that doesn't, you know, get on your nerves, um, you know, go get it. It is a great looking watch. And, you know, one to definitely add to your collection or as a daily 
daily watch really it is fantastic and i would say you know is it, you know if you wear it with other outfits or other you know like a suit or something like that i don't think it would look out of place because it does look a nice sporty i don't know sophisticated timepiece really so there you go that's my verdict great watch well worth buying so if you like the video click on the old like button always helps if you want to see more from the we try anything channel then click on the subscription button below there will be more videos coming soon tutorials other watches and stuff like that, that i've got coming up and thank you for watching this video and we look forward to seeing you next time goodbye